Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Siboga TV, which is the home of politics. Yesterday, President William Samuel Ruto actually dropped a poem shell to Ndindi Nyoro. President William Samuel Ruto actually told Ndindi Nyoro to tear down his ambition for the future, even if President William Samuel Ruto never did that directly. But he told the public that those leaders who are within the Kenya Kwanza fraternity, that they should go slow on their future political ambition. And for now, they should concentrate on how to make Kenyans to have a good life. They should concentrate on how Kenya Kwanza should deliver the promises which it had promised the people of this republic. And he said that the people who he is talking to are the people who are in Kenya Kwanza, and more in particular in UDA party. And when he came and said that the people who are planning for future politics, it is quite hardly. It is the time so that they can deliver to the people of Kenya the promises they made to them before they think of having their political ambition for the future. And as you know, he was particularly talking about Ndidi Nyoro, who has come out and he was actually endorsed by 15 MPs from Mount Kenya as the leader of Mount Kenya who is going to take the mantle of the Deputy President Rigathi Gashawa let come 2027 and the 24 the, 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 the 15 MPs also actually said that they wanted Ndindi Nyoro to be the presidential aspirant late come 2032. But President William Samaruto has warned them in advance and he has told them that it is time now, first so that we can be able to fulfill the promises that Kenya Kwanza actually promised the people of this republic. Hear what President William Samuel Ruto said. Please listen to this carefully. Mambo ya matibabu katika taifa letu la Kenya. Itakuwa tunawa, tunaharibu muda ya wa Kenya. Kama badala ya kufanya hiyo kazi, tumerudi tukaanza kupanga mambo ya siyasa ati ya huko mbele ati ya siku gani mimi nataka niwaulize jameni all leaders i want to ask all leaders it will be an insult to the people of kenya that instead of concentrating on delivering on the assignment given to us by the people of kenya we have a very well cut out assignment on matters transformation of kenya how to create jobs how to expand our food production, how to ensure that every citizen has access to universal health. Let me ask all leaders that we focus our attention on the delivery of the assignment that was given to us by the people of Kenya, especially leaders in Kenya Kwanza, leaders in UDA. I want to ask them to step down any contestations for whatever positions, present or future, so that we can work together, focus on delivering to the people of Kenya, ensure 
that we keep our promise to the people of Kenya so that we can discharge our commitments and the people of Kenya can see us for who we are as leaders who are looking into the future. Na wauliza viongozi wote. Na mimi na huyu Rigiji. Tuko na mpango. Tunaelewa. Sisi tulisema, mimi na Rigiji tulisema, hata hawa vijana wengine wadogo wadogo hawa tutawapatia mentorship. Lakini tukiwapatia mentorship waende polepole. Pole. Wasitusukume sana. Si ndio? Si tuko tayari tumesema tutamenta hawa vijana. So wasituwaragishe. Wasitu Wadabu unajua wakituwaragisha sasa wataharibu maneno. Ama namna gani? So I want to ask the younger leaders, we are ready to mentor you. Please do not be in a hurry. Relax. We are different. Mimi na huyu Rugiji we are different. Sisi sio wale wa kupiga viongozi wengine wadogo. Sisi hawa wao vijana ni watoto wetu. Tutawapanga polepole na kuna Mungu mwenye anajua kupanga maneno zaidi. Si namna hiyo? Si ndio? So mimi nataka niwaulize the young leaders the leaders in, uh, in, in UDA, the leaders in Kenya Kwanza, let us work together so that we make sure that we deliver to the people of Kenya because we have an assignment from the people of Kenya on which, upon which we must deliver. After listening to that, you can agree that William Samuel Ruto was actually talking about Ndidi Nyoro and Rigathi Gashawa trying to have a political contest about who is going to be the de facto leader of Mount Kenya and who is going to go for presidency late come 2032. Many people are asking this question. Who is really behind Ndidi Nyoro? Because Ndidi Nyoro is assumed to be a very close ally to President William Samuel Ruto. And people believe that Ndidi Nyoro was actually used by President William Samuel Ruto to checkmate the excesses of Rigathi Gashawa. But now, President William Samuel Ruto has come up and he has said that he don't want leaders in the UDA fraternity in particular to start arranging for their future politics. Instead, they should concentrate in actually fulfilling the promises they made to the people of Kenya. And because of that, it's quite very clear that maybe William Ruto sees that, 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 that friction of politicians actually planning for the future is going to be, bring a big conflict within the Kenya Kwanzaa fraternity and more so in the mountain. And that's why he had to warn Didi Nyoro and Rigathi Gashawa to stop that and concentrate on development agenda of Kenya Kwanza as a government. But the big question still remains, who is behind Ndindi Nyoro? Who is behind that push that Ndindi Nyoro should go for presidency let come 2032 or Ndindi Nyoro should be the deputy president, let come 2027. Who is behind that push? That is the biggest question that people are asking. And because now the president has spoken, could Ndidi Nyoro tear down on his political ambition? That's another question which we must ask. But I have always told you that Ndidi Nyoro is very young in politics. He might be smart. He must be, he might be charismatic in nature. But if he go for 
presidency, if we go for that ambition, I'm very sure Ndindi Nyoro will get it very rough. And even that ambition for the future will hit a dead rock. So that's why we ask Ndindi Nyoro that he must go slow. I really don't know what's your take. What is your take about this fight between Ndidi Nyoro and Rigathi Gashawa? And now the president has come in to tell Ndidi Nyoro that he should stop his political ambition for the future and he should concentrate in fulfilling the promises that they made to the people of this republic. Please, I would like you to drop your comment about all that in the comment section below. And if this is your first time to come into this YouTube channel, I request you kindly to take a minute or two and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up, share the video to your friends. And if your friends are lovers of politics, then it's good to request them to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And whenever you subscribe, please always remember to hit the notification bell. Because once you hit the notification bell, then you give YouTube a leeway to notify whenever we come up with any political content. And for those ones who have subscribed to this YouTube channel, I say thank you and may God bless you abundantly. And with that, I say adios.